What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. I hope it's not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a final year medical student and a biomedical science graduate studying King's College London. And in this video, I'll be talking to you guys about all of the options you have if you were rejected from medical school. And just starting off, if you were rejected from medical school this year or any other point in your life, I want to start by saying I'm really sorry. I know exactly what it feels like to be rejected from medical school. I was rejected myself and I know exactly what you're going through and how it feels. But I want to tell you that just because you're rejected does not mean you're a failure, does not mean that you're worth any less. And I know it can definitely be easy to feel that way after being rejected, but I want to tell you guys straight away that just because you were rejected does not mean you're a failure. But this video is not about motivation. If you want more information about my story of being rejected and still getting to medical school, then I'll leave a link up there somewhere for you guys to go ahead and check that out. But what I'm doing today, I have my tea over here and I have my iPad with me and I've written down my plan B. So if I didn't get to medical school, what would I have done to increase my chances of getting to medical school the next time? So if you've just been rejected, let's now go ahead and talk about what options you have. So let's jump straight into it. Now, what you do after being rejected kind of depends on how far you got in the whole entire application process. So I'm going to divide this in two. The first one being if you were rejected after receiving an offer for medical school and secondly if you were rejected before receiving an offer for medical school. So I'll leave timestamps down below for you to skip ahead depending on where you were in your application. But let's actually start off by talking about what to do if you're rejected after receiving an offer from medical school. Now if you're rejected after receiving an offer I assume that you missed your grades. So I assume that you applied, you were invited for an interview, passed the interview stage and then finally you're given an offer which is based on your grades so maybe that was AAA or a 2-1 in your degree or whatever that might be but I assume at this stage you missed your grades you didn't actually get the minimum requirements that they offered you in your offer and now let's talk about what you can actually do if you're rejected at this stage in the application process so the next thing to do kind of depends on whether or not you missed it by a few marks or whether or not you missed it by a number of marks so quite a lot of marks and missed the whole entire grade let's start off by talking about if you actually missed your grades but just a few marks here and there because that often happens sometimes your offer might be AAA and maybe you got AAB but that B was only often A by a couple of marks. Now what do you want to do in that circumstance? If you missed your offer by a few marks my recommendation my advice would be just to retake the exams that led to you missing those few marks. So maybe looking at your exam results maybe you dropped one grade in one exam and maybe that's why you actually missed off the, the grade you wanted. So my advice would be to go ahead and maybe take a gap year and actually retake that exam again and only being that one single exam retake it and then hopefully the idea would be that after you retake it, it won't be too difficult because you've already studied for that exam, you've already taken it once, but after you retake it, then hopefully your grade should go up and give you an overall high grade that you can then use to reapply the following year, whilst also doing things to strengthen your application on the side. Now, do bear in mind that some medical schools actually don't look at this very highly. They don't actually look at you retaking your grades you know, numerous times very highly, but in the majority of cases, in my understanding, it's okay. If it's only one or two exams here and there, it's normally okay, and I actually know quite a few people who've actually done this exact thing. Now, the second thing to think about is that if you miss your grades but not by a few marks by act but actually by numerous marks so we're not talking one or two marks here we're talking about maybe your grades were AAA and maybe you got ABB or ABC and you actually missed your offer by quite a few grades and that was a position that I was in I actually got ABB in my A-levels which is very far away from the minimum requirements of medical school and that's kind of where I was at so what I would recommend you do in this case is the first option is to do what I did so what I did is I ended up doing biomedical science I did a whole entirely different degree and then finally reapplied for medicine three years later after graduating as a graduate. So I entered medical school as a graduate. I had a first degree first. I had a biomedical science degree and then I reapplied. And the reason being is that if you reapply as a graduate, the entry requirements to medical school are actually lower. So because I had a degree already, the entry requirements for me uh, in medical school were ABB in my A-levels. So all I had to do was to achieve ABB in my A-levels, which I already did, and then achieve at least a 2-1 in my, in my degree that I went on to do. So that's the other option you have. And again, if you want more information about how I applied as a graduate, I'll link a video up there to describe that process. The second choice you have here if you missed the application by a number of marks is to think about going international. So I didn't do this myself, but I know quite a few of my friends actually went abroad to do medicine. So this is doing medicine in places like Romania, Croatia, um, Prague. There's loads of different medical schools across Europe and also internationally that allow you to enter medical school with lower grade boundaries. So those medical schools may have entry requirements of ABB, maybe BBB. Their entry requirements tend to be a bit lower than the UK and that's another option to consider. And I can't exactly go into more detail about this. I didn't really go to medical school abroad, but if you want me to make a video on that and do some research for you guys, then let me know in the comment down below. Now, the third option that you have in this circumstance, again, is to reset the exams you missed out on. So for example, maybe you got ABB like I did. Maybe your A was good, but the other two Bs weren't as good. And maybe you can retake those exams again in order to improve your score and then get you up to the minimum entry requirements. Now, obviously this means that you have to take a gap year again. You may have to take a year out and then retake these exams, maybe retake more than one exam. It is a bit of a long process, but 
for slightly less long than what I did, which was to do a completely different degree. But those are the sorts of three options you have if you missed your grades by quite a few marks. Now let's go on to talk about what to do if you actually got rejected for receiving an offer. So in this circumstance, maybe you did the UCAT, you wrote your personal statement, you made an application, um, but unfortunately you didn't even get invited for interview. Or maybe you did get invited for interview, but after being interviewed, you were rejected. Now what do you do in this circumstance? What you do going on from here depends on two things. The first is that if you achieved good grades, and the second is that if you didn't actually meet the minimum requirements for medicine, which is often AAA. So if you were rejected for medicine, as I said, you did the whole entire application process, but you didn't receive an offer at the end. Let's start off by talking about what you can do if you still manage to finish off your school, finish off your degree, whatever it is you're doing, and you manage to get good grades. So you still got AAA, or you still met the normal minimum requirement that medical schools normally need. Now, my advice is that if you're in this circumstance, is that it's a pretty good circumstance to be in. The reason being is that you already have good grades in school. You've already met that minimum requirement for medical school. It's quite a good place to be in. And if you're in that place, maybe you didn't get an offer because of your UCAT score, maybe because your personal statement wasn't very strong, maybe your, your extracurriculars weren't that good, or maybe you didn't do well in the interview. If you're in that circumstance, my advice, my honest advice would be to reapply the next following year. Obviously, you can only apply to medicine once. So my advice would be to go ahead and reapply the next year with the exact same grades that you got, which were the minimum requirements. But during that year off, while you're waiting to reapply, my advice will be to do things that will strengthen your application. So strengthen your weaknesses, strengthen your application. So again, that might be practicing the UCAT more. Maybe you lacked in the UCAT. Maybe you want to practice on the UCAT more. Maybe you didn't actually have a very strong personal statement and therefore you didn't have you know very much work experience. Maybe your extracurriculars were actually lacking. But do all of these things to actually increase how competitive you are as an applicant and then go ahead and reapply the following year, hopefully with a good UCAT score, hopefully with more things to talk about in your personal statement and hopefully overall with just a generally more competitive application. So that's what I would do. The second option you have if you achieve good grades would be to go international. So again, I spoke about that uh, previously, but to go and look at an international university you can apply to. I wouldn't really recommend this if you want to apply in the UK. If you had good grades and all you have to do is tweak a few things, I would personally go for the option of reapplying. But again, that's up to you to decide. Now let's talk about if you're the circumstance where you didn't actually meet the minimum grade requirements. So you were rejected again before actually receiving an offer. And after being rejected, you ended up not getting good grades anyways, or the minimum requirements at least. And let's talk about what you can do here. So if you were rejected before receiving an offer, you didn't get the minimum, the minimum required grades and you missed these grades by a few marks. Again, what I would recommend is doing what I said previously. If you missed it out by a few marks, what I would recommend again is to retake the exams that you missed out on, reapply, and then again, strengthen the weaknesses that you had. So if there's only a few marks there, follow the same process I said before, which is to, um, to retake the exams and reapply the following year. Now, again, if you're in the position where you actually finished off high school, finished off your secondary school or your degree, and you missed out on the minimum requirements by a large number of grades. So again, maybe you got ABB or BBB or BCC, but you get the point, you know, you missed it by quite a few grades like I did. Then you kind of have two uh, options in my opinion. The first is to, again, to do what I did. I didn't really want to reset all my A-levels all over again. So what I did is again, I applied as a graduate. So again, you know, getting another degree first, and then hopefully reapplying with a two one or a first class um, in, your, in, your, in your degree. The second option you have again is to reset your A-levels. This is quite a lengthy process. And this might be quite difficult to go ahead and to reset your A-levels, crossing your fingers that you achieve a high grade again, and then, you know, going into the path of medicine. That's an option you can do, but there are a few reasons why I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. First reason is that if you decide to reset your A-levels again, and you decide to do the whole entire process, the whole entire two, two years of high school, if you don't manage to get good grades again, then you've essentially wasted, you know, two years or, you know, a couple of years of your life. And that's a lot to risk. I personally don't want to do that. I felt like if I reset my A-levels and I didn't get good grades again, it would have been a waste of time. So what I did is that, again, I decided to go down the path of a graduate. So at least if I don't meet the minimum requirements again, at least I have another degree and at least I have a backup option. So if I actually went down the path of biomedical science like I did and I didn't get two one and I didn't meet the minimum grade requirements required to apply to medical school, then at least I would still have a degree and at least I can get a job as a scientist or doing something else. So that's the reason why I would recommend resetting your A-levels if you missed, you know, missed it out by quite a few grades. And that's my personal opinion. And again, the last option you have is again to go international. Like I said, a number of my friends did it. If you didn't meet the minimum grade requirements, requirements, then going international is always an option because as I said, other medical schools internationally, you know, across Europe and across the world may well have lower grade boundaries to actually enter medical school. And that is pretty much my advice on what you can do if you're rejected from medical school. As I said, it's probably not a completely comprehensive guide, but after being rejected from medical school, this is the options that I came up with. And this is what I used to then decide my path, which was actually to go down by medical science and then finally get into medical school. If you guys want more information on this whole entire process of being rejected and getting into medical school, and I have a ton of videos on my channel to do with getting rejected, kind of motivation, and finally getting to medical school. But lastly, if you guys want more information,
information about how to strengthen your application to medical school, then I have a free entire course on Skillshare that you guys can watch, again, completely for free, to try and help you guys get into medical school. I'll leave a link down below and also on the screen somewhere in a second. That contains all of the information, all of the advice I have to help you guys get into medical school. So you can watch it completely free by clicking the link down below. If you guys have any questions whatsoever to do with my process of getting to medical school, to do with anything at all, please leave a comment down below and also take two seconds out of your day to leave the video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. And please make sure you're subscribed with notifications on to make sure you never miss an upload. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one and good luck with your application.